Today I'm here with one of our, uh, our students, our, our, our great students here. It's Gloria Mopotu. Yes, did I pronounce is. that correctly? Yes, you did. <laughs> who's, who's here from South Africa. And uh, I just wanted to, uh, you know, chat with you a little bit here and sure. just let the people listening in just find a little, I'll find out a little bit about you and what you think of the program and how you got here. So I, yeah. for, it, that's a long way from South Africa to Hong Kong. It so, is, yeah. it <laughs> how, is. Did this, how did JMSC get on your radar screen? Well, first of all, it was never on my radar. Um, I remember, I've, I've always wanted to do um, um, a master's in journalism, but I wasn't looking to come to Asia per se. I think I got the idea from my brother who is um, a, who is in Shanghai and he's doing a business degree. And when I went to go visit him last year in December, he was like, apparently one of my friends said that there's a great university in Hong Kong that has an awesome master's program for journalism. I'm like, what? Asia? No, <laughs> that is not me. But eventually I went back to my, to my hotel room that same night and researched a bit about the institution and I fell in love right then and there. Oh great, well we like to hear that, awesome. But you, yeah. so, so you came out and you got the, you got the Asia bug and the yeah, China I bug, right? Okay. I did, totally unexpectedly. Like I never thought I'd ever, you know, study here or even settle here, but I'm actually taking a great liking to the course and to Hong Kong, so. Well, terrific. It, so when you arrived at JMSC, did, did it meet your expectations, your first days and weeks here, learning the town and learning about first, the facilities? First of all, when I arrived to Hong Kong, I wanted to die. I was just like, <laughs> ugh, this is so different from what I'm used to, you know. Hong Kong and South Africa, if you've ever been, it's totally different. And I, I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it for the first week that I came with my mom. And then I think when I sort of started to, you know, unravel more about what Hong Kong had to offer and actually begin to see the diversity that this um, city has, because I'm from South Africa and the diversity there is huge. I began to sort of take, a, you know, a bit of liking to, the, to, to Hong Kong and um, the more I went out and explored the different cuisine and the activities, you know, I, yeah, that really helped. Terrific. So, yeah. you, so you came to JMSC and you had the orientation and yeah. you started your courses. Yeah. What, what did you find? I found that hmm, <laughs> being a journalist is not as simple as I thought. There is a lot of research, a lot of thought, a lot of work that goes into the process. And even though you know, I came here but, you know, thinking that I was good at something, I actually wasn't. And that there are a few skills that I could definitely brush up on and that I want to brush up on, like writing for instance. But you know, having said that, I love the program as a whole. I think just learning different aspects of you know, journalism really helps and it's fun. And uh, you, your background is telecom, is that correct? Yeah, no, um, so I have an undergraduate degree in international relations. And then by, I don't know, by some weird way, ended up in telecommunications. It was brief because I realized that this wasn't my niche, it wasn't my thing. I enjoyed writing, I enjoyed research, I love politics, and I really wanted to get back into that. So the JMSC, in your view, could be for people who have not done journalism before, but are switching from another profession? Oh no, definitely. I mean, I was, I was deeply concerned about that, to be honest. You know, I just, it was by chance that, you know, I, um, I, I applied here, you know, and got accepted, but I was very skeptical. I was like, hmm, I know a few people here have some journalistic background, you know, and what if that sort of works, you know, against me? But, you know, having spoken to you and some of our other lectures, you know, they had assured us that, you know, even if you don't come from a journalist background, you could still sort of, you know, find your way here and still thrive. So, and that is true, you know, a, a lot of our programs are very basic and they build up and build up and build up and that has helped greatly. Great, and you mentioned some of the other students, some have journalism backgrounds, some not. Talk about some of the students you've met here, your your classmates. Yeah, yeah, um, so for example, Tasman, um, I really like her very much. Um, she has, um, she's Canadian and she has some experience in journalism. And then there are some students who haven't, for example, one of my good friends, Tanvi, who was more in business. She worked as a banker in New York and she doesn't have any experience as a journalist, but she's here and just like me, she's starting from the bottom and working her way up. So that's exciting to see. And it's a diverse group. Too. It is definitely. Everybody I've mentioned is from different, different parts of the world, yeah. Now talk about the courses you're taking. You're taking video, you're taking... I'm uh, taking, so our core courses are video news production, there's news reporting and writing, there's media law, as well as um, digital journalism. Those are the four um, core um, courses. And then my um, elective for this semester is broadcast journalism. Ah, so you're going to go into broadcasting, is that right? Um, initially, I wanted to. <laughs> initially, I wanted to. I thought I was, I was a great orator, but then actually starting the, the, 
the course, I realized it isn't so much about being out there and being in front of the camera, but it's more about actually writing scripts for the camera. And at first I was like, oh, <laughs> but I think, you know, the more, you know, you practice and get to learn what it really takes to be a, 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 a great reporter or anchor, the more you begin to fall in love with it and begin to appreciate it and understand it. So the, in, overall, this, you would recommend this program to someone who's uh, in another profession and thinking of switching into journalism absolutely. or just wants to come to Asia? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, not just this, the program is, is wonderful. Like I can't even, I, got, I could go on about it forever. But I think it also helps because it's in Hong Kong and Hong Kong is a great city um, filled with great people. The, the, the diversity is, I never, I never imagined it. I thought it was just, you know, the little, little. But when you go out more, you see d people from different, people of different races from different places. And it's just, it's refreshing. One of the things that we're most proud of here are our are, are international students, the international student uh, body that come here. Uh, we have a real mixture of students. Some are fresh grads, uh, some have journalism experience, some have experience in various professions, uh, government, banking, uh, in a glorious case, and telecommunications with an international relations background. So if anyone is out there considering journalism, no matter where you are, uh, we'd like to hear from you. Let's see if uh, you're a good fit. Let's see if you've got the Asia bug and uh, we welcome you. I think applications are open now. Look forward to seeing you.